With today's current climate, there's been a lot of stuff I've been hearing that's been just kind of bothering me, and so I want to get some stuff off my chest. Um, I think this whole left and right bullshit needs to end. You know, I, I think language is important, and I think what we do and say is important. And I, I get the whole, you know, if, if you say someone's left-leaning or right-leaning, that it gives us some vague understanding of what they might believe. But what it doesn't do is explain to us who they are. Certainly not enough to judge them before we know them. You know, I'm seeing people throw out these constant generalizations as if the left does this and the right is that, as if people are forgetting that these factions consist of people, like real, tangible, in this life people. As soon as we accept that as our method of communication, we immediately separate ourselves from others when this whole thing is supposed to be about unity. You know, I recently heard some symbolism that I loved. It, it, it talked about the left wing and the right wing belonging to the same bird, which to me, it's funny because America's icon is a bald eagle. You know, one of, the, one of the most fierce hunters, the alpha of the sky. Well, how effective could a bald eagle be if we were to clip one of its wings? Could it do what eagles do best, what the American eagle does best? You know, we need both wings uh, so that we can properly conduct ourselves. As soon as one wing gains dominance, we veer uncontrollably. And when the other one regains the control, we don't steady out. We just change a direction in which we spiral endlessly. It's idiotic. It's dangerous. It's, 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 it's hurtful. It's, it's toxic. America's supposed to be this leader in the world. You know, and with that power comes an immense responsibility. But this internal hate is in direct opposition to that mindset. You know, we're supposed to be different. It's okay to be different. It's important to be different. Diversity breeds progress. The act of disagreeing respectfully and honestly allows us to strengthen our resolve for future conflicts. If you have if you have a problem with a certain mindset, speak up. I, I, like more power to you. Talk about the issues you have with people's with people's actions and allow someone who disagrees with you to take a measure of what it is you're against and decide for themselves if their actions are aligned with your frustrations. Perhaps they agree with you to some extent. Maybe there's a change that needs to happen on both sides. Common ground is fertile soil. That's where you plant change. That's where you see growth. This whole you're either with me or against me mindset is, is dangerous and it is, it's, it's irresponsibly dismissive. If you don't know who, who da Daryl uh, Davis is, sorry, Daryl Davis, um, He's an incredible man. He's a fantastic musician. But more importantly, over the course of his life, he changed the mindsets directly of about 40 to 60 Klansmen and indirectly about 200. And he's got about uh, he's got a collection of about 20 Klansmen rogues, people who gave up that lifestyle because of him. And he did all of this while being a black man. And he didn't fight hate with hate. He didn't spend every waking hour chastising their ignorance because it wouldn't have worked. Regardless of if you're right, that just doesn't work. All it does is solidify your enemies. What he did is he acted out in kindness, in, in, in love, and in friendship. And more importantly, he showed them how alike they were. He, he showed them that the differences between them was grander in the Klansmen's mind than in reality. And in reality, they were much closer than previously thought. And because of him doing that, the gap between them got even smaller. Look, now's the time to be all up in arms about everything you're passionate about. I get that. But if you're going to tackle the, the world's problems, if you're going to tackle this nation's problems, you got to do so with a little love in you. Because the hate shit just ain't working. The divisive stuff is just not working. This left and right is just not working. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but I certainly know that we got to start with a little bit of love. It's cheesy as it sounds. That's my thoughts for today. You guys have a good day or night. Much love to you.